Talked to this girl on Tinder. We decided to go out to dinner. This girl is beautiful. We had a great time. I thought she was perfect. But the next few days when I tried to text her, she was either really short with me or she didn't respond at all. So I assumed that she just wasn't feeling it. Which is fine. I mean, you know, I get it. Then a couple weeks go by and she texts me like, I miss you so much. We should hang out tonight. But the next day, same thing happens. If I try to text her, she's either short with me or she doesn't respond at all. Then a couple weeks later, the same thing happened. I'm pretty on to her, but uh, I was like, well, I got nothing else to do. So I go, we go out to dinner again. So we're there and we're having a great time again. And uh, while we're there, we're talking about some meme. It's in my phone, but I couldn't. She then excuses herself to use the restroom. I find the meme and send it to her phone. Her phone then lights up right next to me and I see my name there as Rex in parentheses free food. When she comes back, I didn't say anything. But when the waitress brought the checks, I said, we need to split these up. The girl looked at me like I was on fire. I said, I guess I'm not free food anymore, huh? This is the time that I got locked out of my car at Planned Parenthood. I went in to get some birth control and I got the goods, then realized I left my keys in the car and I locked my car and I didn't want to call my parents because I'm at Planned Parenthood. So I called the top rated locksmith on Google and they opened the car for me. One like and I'll walk like this down the graduation line. How much I owe in student loans one year after graduating from Harvard Law. For background reference, last year I made a video showing you how much I owed in student loans at the time, and so I wanted to make an update and show you how much I've progressed since then. Last year, my law student loans totaled that much, and I had various interest rates ranging from about 5.5% to 7%. Since that video, I've refinanced my student loans and now pay 3.57% interest. Since I graduated, I've also been paying more than the monthly minimum requirement, but I'll show you what my normal monthly payment would be as well. Those two bigger numbers are the amount I still owe, the 60,000 and the 138,000 number. For a total, I will put in the text. Those numbers combined are my minimum monthly payment. Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes! I'm about to make some boys on here really mad at me. But it really must be said. You don't get brownie points for not abusing women. Common decency is not a prerequisite for getting me to sleep with you. Good manners can only get you so far. And chivalry isn't dead. We can just see through your shiny plastic white knight armor. And then when you scream and cry about how women are shallow because they don't like you, you start giving off less of a nice guy vibe and more of a serial killer one. Cause let's face it, just because you're not a bad guy doesn't mean you're a good one. Then leave. Then leave. There's something that really bothers me, and it's this. A number of guys have divulged to me that they feel somehow replaceable or disposable. Why do we make them feel this way? Well, here are some pretty good reasons I've heard. For years, we have sent men to war. That's gonna make them feel pretty disposable. What about in the working world? It's hierarchical. A man might feel like his job position could be replaced at any time. In a family, if a man's role is the material provider, he may feel that any other man could come along with more money and he could be replaced. Whereas a woman is seen as the emotional provider and is inherently valued more. This is even reflected in the unfair legislations we see in family law. And then there's dating, where women have a line of men waiting backstage and an attitude of one strike and you're out. So where does that leave our men? feeling disposable and replaceable, which is just ridiculously unfair. I decided to DM the top 10 contestants from season 16 of The Bachelorette. Here's how it went. Fat vanity. Fat vanity is some of the highest magic, and I'm gonna tell you why. 
I really do mean vanity, V-A-N-I-T-Y, being vain, being obsessed with yourself and your beauty and your body and your style and your talent and your energy and your aura. I'm a savage. Good morning, men of TikTok. I have a question. Actually, I actually have a couple questions that I think most women are gonna agree on. All right, here they are. Where did all the good men go? Like seriously, where are the guys who just want one woman? Where are the guys who date towards marriage? Where are the guys who want kids? All I see in today's world are guys in their 20s and early 30s who still smoke and party and they go skateboarding and they game all day and they prance around the beach in flip-flops which is per that's a personal thing but my point is they're still children don't you want more meaning in your life personally i want to know where all y'all old-fashioned men are because we like you so if you're an old-fashioned man or if you're looking for the right things in life call yourself out here in the comments let the single ladies know you exist <laughs> thanks have a good day a week ago, I caught my pregnant girlfriend cheating. Let me show you how I exposed this girl. I bought these spy cameras from this only release tech website. These are a fully functional charging block with a Wi-Fi camera hidden inside. It is almost impossible to see and I can watch the camera live from my phone. I plugged them in before I went to work and this is what I found. I caught my pregnant girlfriend letting her ex-boyfriend into our house and she accused me for being insecure about our relationship. Like, you're literally a cheater. Jenna, if you're seeing this, I am never giving you your stuff back. Don't ever come here again. And I'm sure this baby is not mine either. I'm not paying child support. So that's a great question and I get it quite a bit. No, signing the birth certificate would not give the father parenting rights. That may be used by the child support office to show paternity to establish child support, but it would not give any custodial rights. Happy Easter, baby girl. Come give me a hug. I will